The leaders of the United States and China offered starkly contrasting views of the direction for trade in Asia in separate speeches to regional business leaders Friday. VOA White House Bureau Chief Steve Herman reports. Taking the stage at a meeting for top corporate executives of the Asia-Pacific region, U.S. President Donald Trump told the audience he is willing to make one-on-one -on -one trade deals with any country in the region. What we will no longer do is enter into large agreements that tie our hands, surrender our sovereignty, and make meaningful enforcement practically impossible. Chinese President Xi Jinping immediately followed Trump on the stage in Denai. She embraced the multilateral concept, in particular calling for support for a free trade area of the Asia-Pacific, which would harmonize regional and bilateral economic pacts. Steve Herman, VOA News, Da Nang, Vietnam. Lebanon believes billionaire politician Saad al-Hariri is under house arrest in Saudi Arabia. The Saudi-backed Lebanese prime minister flew to Riyadh last week and resigned the following day. Lucy Fielder has more. Hezbollah, which is backed by Tehran and shared in Hariri's government, has said for days that the Saudis are holding Hariri against his will. But this is the first time politicians close to him have agreed. Riyadh denies all such suggestions and says Hariri is free to come and go. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said there is no indication that Hariri has been detained by the Saudis against his will. Follow Voice of America on social media for stories, pictures, videos, and more. This is VOA News. The Vatican on Friday hosted Nobel laureates, UN and NATO officials, hey. and a handful of nuclear powers. Mohamed El Baradei, Director General Emeritus of the International Atomic Agency, spoke at the conference aimed at galvanizing support for a global shift from the Cold War era policy of nuclear deterrence to one of total nuclear disarmament. The argument that nuclear weapons have kept the peace is bogus and does not withstand scrutiny. Pope Francis endorsed a new UN treaty calling for the elimination of atomic weapons, saying it filled an important gap in international law. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres said the United Nations is insisting on unhindered humanitarian access to all areas of the northern Rakhine state. More than 600,000 Rohingyas have fled to Bangladesh since the latest violence began with a series of attacks August 25th by Rohingya insurgents. What has happened is an immense tragedy and the levels of uh, uh, violence and the atrocities committed um, are something that uh, we cannot be silent about. Myanmar security forces responded with a scorched earth campaign against Rohingya villages that the UN and human rights groups have called disproportionate in a campaign of ethnic cleansing. United Nations judges have rejected a defense motion to postpone the verdicts in a long-running genocide and war crimes trial of former Bosnian Serb military chief Ratko Mladic. Defense lawyers had urged that the judgment scheduled to be delivered by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia on November 22nd should be delayed so Mladic could be examined by Serbian doctors. Robert Rafael has more. The lawyers said the 75-year-old ex-general's health was deteriorating. The judges said Friday that reports from independent medical experts and staff at the tribunal's detention unit show that the accused's health has remained stable. Mladic was tried on 11 counts of genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes for allegedly overseeing atrocities by Serb forces in Bosnia's 1992-1995 war. He insists he's innocent. The United States and Italy have organized an informal Security Council meeting on Venezuela, saying they want to hear firsthand accounts of the deteriorating political, economic, and social situation in the oil-rich nation and the humanitarian impact on the region. A note circulated to council members and obtained Friday by the Associated Press says the meeting will take place on Monday afternoon. From Washington, this is Steve Miller. That's the latest world news from BOA.